Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn split? Courtney and Scott are getting back together? And is Priyanka Chopra really not engaged to Nick Jonas? So much, oh, it's huh? like a lot of relationship rumors today that we have to talk about right now on Rumor Patrol. Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Rumor Patrol. If you don't know who we are, I'm Emil. I'm Jocelyn, I think I am at least. So as you guys know, this is the show where we break down the most ridiculous things happening in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Our lives are sometimes equally as ridiculous. Yes. Not ridiculous though, is the fact that Emil is wearing a man romper and he's looking like a snack or a meal. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> what are you doing this weekend? I am going to Mexico. Oh, that's gonna yes. be so magical. Yes, I am very excited for everything. Uh, you should be. I, for once, am going to be in Los Angeles. What? Living my freaking dreams. Um, but before yes. we get into all of that. All your dreams? I have so many. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal with this whole Priyanka and Nick actually not being engaged, faking their engagement, not being, what is this about, Emil? I gotta spill the tea. So here it is, rumor number one, is it true that Priyanka faked her engagement to Nick Jonas? Okay, so I know we've been talking about a lot of engagements yes. recently, like a lot. Yes. This is the engagement season. Everyone's engaged. Everybody's engaged, me, <laughs> except <laughs> us, so. <laughs> AJ, if you're watching, still waiting for that ring. Um, but <laughs> Priyanka and Nick, it was announced that they were recently engaged on her birthday yeah. in London. And this is one of those things where it's not like on one of the tabloid magazines we usually talk about. It was confirmed by people, by multiple like legitimate outlets saying Priyanka and Nick are engaged. Right. We are like, whoa, like where did this come from? And we gave you the whole rundown. If you go watch the news feed, you can see Don't the watch other exact videos. story. However, Today we're talking about whether or not they're actually engaged. And it's very interesting because Priyanka removed her ring. Okay, here's the thing. I see so many reasons for this. First off, she is historically a very private person. Mm -hmm. And I think Nick, as he's gotten older, has gotten slightly more private. Yeah. Um, and I think her wearing a huge flashy ring would only incite more coverage, I mean, more excitement from us, honestly. But I can see why, you know, maybe she doesn't really have a ring. Yeah, and- Maybe she's choosing not to wear one in so general. So here's the thing, Priyanka and Nick have not actually confirmed the engagement. It was just other outlets who confirmed, mm -hmm. right? So we've never heard it from their exact mouth. So when she was asked about this during a Q and A at an event recently, here's what she had to say. So at the event, Priyanka kind of sort of addressed the rumors of her yet to be confirmed engagement to Nick and basically said her personal life is hers and hers alone, which I can respect. She said, quote, my entire life, my personal life is not for public consumption. 90% of my life is for public consumption, but 10% is for me, I'm a girl. I have the right to keep that to myself. My family, my friendships, and my relationships are things I don't need to explain to anyone. I am not running for office, so I don't think I need to give explanations. Sometimes I laugh, sometimes I get annoyed. Mostly I tell my publicist, let it be, today's news is tomorrow's trash. Oh, wow. Yeah, girlfriend wow. is Wow. I love everything she said. And yes, I do realize we're currently hosting a show. <laughs> that main purpose is to talk about and debunk, I have to point that out. Yes, yes. Some of the dumbest rumors, because I agree. I think if you're a celebrity who wants to have a private life, you most definitely can, but you have to set the tone by saying stuff like this, and I love it. Yeah. I, I think what she's saying is 100% correct because people think that celebrities are just like because they're in the yeah just because they're in the spotlight they have to divulge no. every aspect of their life. But if you see the celebrities who end up doing that, they tend to go crazy because it's too much. It's way too much. Um, but the interesting thing is that she made that statement, but she also didn't have her ring on, which kind of let people say, are they engaged? Are they not engaged? What happened? So. Priyanka removed her engagement ring as she was leaving the airport to keep the engagement chatter to a minimum. But the funniest part is the photographer saw her taking the ring off. So the so ring was there. there. A ring. There's a ring. Like the ring was there. Okay, I, I'll tell you this because we're seeing a lot of engagements right mm -hmm. now, which makes my heart so happy. Um, I don't know if we're ever gonna get them confirming it. I feel like maybe they'll just get married and we'll be like, oh, they're married now, which is, or, who knows? I think that's very, for celebrities who don't do like the whole people exclusive and like the big, I think that's very sweet because that means, well, hold on. That doesn't mean that you are inauthentic or anything. I just think it's very sweet to keep that moment between you, but that's not a diss to any celebrities who do the public 
No, not at presentation. all. Presentation. Because as celebrities, they do have fans, and we want to see that as well, so. But if you want to keep it to yourself, that's totally your prerogative. Mm -hmm. But do we think, as entertainment experts, yes. that they have faked their engagement? I think this rumor is false. false. All right, Jocelyn, yes. we have to move on to the yeah. next rumor. Rumor number two. Is it true that Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn are actually breaking up? The answer is yes, if you believe what Radar Online reports, uh, which as you guys know, we've talked a lot about those rumors have, that come from that outlet on this show and definitely, uh, definitely up for uh, debate with uh, this one. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna break it down first and foremost. So Taylor, as you guys know, is in the midst of an insane tour schedule. Mm -hmm. Girlfriend is absolutely killing it. It seems like she and her boyfriend are going really strong. So I wanna set that side up and say, she already has a very rigorous job schedule yeah. and her man seems to be standing by her. Truthfully, similar to the last couple that we discussed, Priyanka and Nick Jonas, we don't really know all that much about Joe and Taylor. And I think she's been really happy because she's managed to keep her relationship private. Yeah. So cut to now, it was just announced that Taylor is going to be one of the stars of the upcoming movie musical, Cat. Cat. Which will also star an amazing cast, Jennifer Hudson, James Corden, and Ian McKellen. And now we're hearing that the schedule is going to be so grueling that the headline on Radar.com says, exclusive, Cat catastrophe coming. Taylor and Joe could be headed for split with grueling film. So a source is telling Radar, don't know who this source is, BT does, that quote, this project is going to be demanding and intense. Taylor will have to spend a lot of time throwing herself into the rehearsals and grueling filming schedule. This is going to be unlike anything Joe's known. She won't have time for him like she has in the past. Riddle me this, Emil. Yes. What is Joe Alwyn's job? He's an actor. In like films? Yes. Wow, so obviously he knows nothing about this. Hashtag opposite day. If there's anyone who's going to understand the grueling schedule that comes from being a part of a film, guess who it is? Joe. But Joe furthermore, Alvin. like it, like what you said earlier, it doesn't make sense because she already has a hectic schedule and they already have this long distance relationship that is clearly working. Like they know how to make it work so she can make it work with Joe while doing the film. Also, girlfriend has earned her cash. She has a private jet. Yeah. She can bibbity bop all over the planet. Bibbidi and I'm boppity sure boop. he has access to the same thing. So I just find this really silly and just how vague this headline and this source actually is. I, I will say before we move on. Yes. I love that when they said um, exclusive catastrophe coming, that's I thought funny. that was very cute. I thought that was cute. That's, that's cute. But you know, creative writing is very cute. <laughs> um, the article goes on to say, Swift could be busy with filming for a long time, not to mention the intense publicity tour sure to follow. Joe is used to getting a lot of attention from Taylor, but they can't be joined at the hip anymore. Their relationship is about to change in a major way. I just find, I mean, my, my shoe is about to fall off. Joined at the this, hip? I find this to be so stupid. I was at the Reputation tour. Uh -huh. Guess who I didn't see on stage who? a joy to Taylor's hip? Joe! What? Yeah, because apparently he has his own life. But Sean Mendez was there, my love. Oh my gosh, Disney damn. I just think this is so dumb. People who don't already understand that Taylor is one of the busiest, most hardworking people in entertainment need to check themselves. Before article, you wreck yourself. This article is silly. It's like saying that whatever she's gonna do in the future is gonna be harder. Yeah. I don't think it gets much more challenging than what she's already doing. Well, and then the article goes on, it pointed out that, well, the article didn't point out, but the film is set to film in like the UK where Joe's based. So, so actually they're gonna be able to spend even more right. time together? And the article wow. conveniently omitted that from the, the, the creative writing essay to, make their point more, I cannot talk well, today. The struggle has been real today. Also, now that I'm thinking of it, as you guys know, James Corden mm -hmm. um, spends most of his time here in Los Angeles right. where he tapes his late night show, uh, which is going on most of the year. So I can only imagine that the cat's shoot will be expedited for time. Like they're probably gonna work very quickly for you know long hours during the day, but for a short time period to complete this film because all of these people have insane schedules. All of them do. And the other thing is this source didn't reveal any additional information. It was just coming up with uh, these, this fake news about their relationship, but we don't know which role Taylor is gonna play yet. And if it was really like a source close to Taylor, that I feel like that's something they would have known. Yeah. So. And is this 
close source to Taylor talking to Radar Online. Right, no. Probably not. No. I'm just gonna throw that out there. So is it true that these two are done? That they have gone through a cat catastrophe? <laughs> I love that headline though. You guys, that's cute. I love it. This rumor is totally. False. All right, Emil, rounding out the show today, all about couples. All about today, couples. Which I like when it's happy news. Yeah. Is it true, this could be potentially happy news, is it true that Kourtney Kardashian is getting back together with her baby daddy, Scott Disick? With the baby daddy, so. With the baby daddy. <laughs> Kourtney and Scott have a long, um, a long history, long history together. together. And I remember, you know, we've gone through many of their breakups together. If you watch the show, Keeping Up Kardashians, you know about yeah. their history, you know the struggle that's been on both sides. Um, with making it work, they have their beautiful kids together. Um, Penelope's my favorite. Such um, cute children. But Courtney is single now. And very recently single. Very like, recently this single. Earlier this yeah, week. Eunice Benjuma was her boyfriend of almost two years. They made a beautiful couple, and then the reports came out that he was spotted out in Mexico cozying up to Jordan Azuna, who was previously linked to Justin Bieber and Tyga. Okay. Okay, I feel like honestly, every there's like the two degrees of separation. Of Literally, the with the Kardashians, no matter who you did, I feel like somehow they're gonna be in that step. Like in they're, that it's gonna be there. It's just yeah. awkward. So he was spied out with her, and in the pictures, they're like wrapping arms and stuff. It's very, very cozy. So those reports were coming out, but then literally a couple hours later, it was reported <clears throat> that I have something in my throat. Are you feeling emotional? <laughs> I am. Can we get some tissues on set. <laughs> so it was reported that Courtney and Eunice did indeed split, and we were all kind of like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I hope he zooms in for that part. <laughs> um, so it's reported that they split, and after that news came out, of course, all the headlines are talking about, oh, what happened, what happened, what happened, and people were posting about Jordan. Right. So then, Eunice posted an Insta story where he was slamming the Daily Mail, one of the outlets, and he said in that Insta story, they really want me to be the bad guy. F your Hollywood bull Can't have fun with your friends no more. Daily Mail, where are my 12 other friends. Nice catch though. He then posted a few photos of all his friends and finally ended with quote, once again you guys failed. I'm not attached to this life so you can't touch me. He just talks and goes on and on and on. And after that was posted, Chloe and Kim actually commented in, because the Shade Room, which is one of my favorite Instagram <laughs> accounts, um, they stepped into the Shade Room as I like to say and they left a comment on that Insta story photo pretty much slamming Eunice and like, where are all your friends? Yeah, basically. like, what did Why Kim say? Oh, yeah, Kim said it's supposed to be a guy's trip and this girl is here, so that was awkward. Jordan made a statement too, but the reason why the Mirror UK, which is where this rumor comes from, I, I'm from Atlanta, I can't say that word right. Mirror, mirror, mirror. I, I got you. Mirror. At first I was like, mail room, what are you saying? <laughs> the, the mirror, mirror. The, the mirror. If I do an accent, the mirror, mirror. the mirror. The mirror. Um, but the Mirror UK, they came out with an article pretty much saying that the reason why Courtney split from Eunice is because she was ready to get back with Scott. Okay, but isn't Scott with Sophia Richie? Aren't they like living together? And that's what I said too. I was like, uh, I don't know about this, but remember, Keeping Up the Kardashians season 15 just premiered this past Sunday. How could I forget? And on the first episode, literally, they're talking about Courtney and Scott getting back together. I'm gonna explain it right now. So. Kim and Chloe are talking to Scott about possibly marrying Courtney one day, and Chloe said, I have a real question for you. I know you're happy. Do you think in a few years you and Court will finally get married? And Scott responded saying, we always said we would try to get back together when we were like 40, so she's got a couple of years. I mean, I'm much younger. I'm like early 30s, but she's pushing 40. What? Okay, first off, the what? Thing, that was really cute, and then it got kind of ugly. Like, he just made her sound so old. She's but like the hottest mom in Los she Angeles. She really is. She really is. But I think there's something that... If Courtney wanted to marry Scott, let me just put this out there. Okay, go ahead. Any day of the week that Courtney's like, I want to marry Scott, it's happening. Yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. Like, he would drop everyone. to be with him, if he was in a place that she felt like that was gonna happen, it would happen. Well, but I don't think she wants to be with him. If at least that's what it seems based on all the episodes. I, I will say 
I want them both to be happy together. And apparently Scott is very happy. And um, he's currently dating Sophia, like Jocelyn said. And he said that things are going pretty well. Check it out. Now, the interesting thing is, even though he said that him and Sophia are happy, he had this to say. One part of me is really happy that I'm able to care about someone again, but there's always some feeling in the back of me that feels guilty because I'm moving on from Courtney. Do you know what I mean? So clearly, of course. Scott is not over Courtney. And that's the wife, or not the wife but the mother of his children. I mean, I feel like they basically were married. Yeah, they were almost like a divorce without a divorce. Yeah. And those are just never, it's always hard. It's always, always hard. Would you want to see them back together? If they wanted to be, but I think like that concept of like, oh, you guys should be together for your kids. I think anyone that's had a situation where their parents have clearly hated yeah. each other but stayed married will tell you that's not good Kids for them. do not save a relationship. So I think the two of them should do whatever they feel is in the best interest of their family, including themselves, including their kids. He is dating someone who, you know, is significantly younger than him. So maybe that is where he feels like he's at personally, mm -hmm. which like, that's cool, do and that. He said that Sophia teaches him a lot. That's so, cool. you know, that's that's Old great. Cool. Oh, so I just want him to be happy. I want her to be happy. Was she Jake Bieber at one point? Yeah. Wow. Another, yeah, Every all these people have, okay. they just date each other. So basically, so once you become friends with somebody and you start dating one person, the Kardashians, and it's just like, it's all interconnected. I wonder what my connection to the Kardashians is. Um, I don't know, probably not. We're gonna figure it out. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, <laughs> is it true that Scott and Courtney are getting back together, getting married, all the things? Maybe. Maybe in the future? So, lots of rumors today, lots of debunking went down. Pretty much everything we talked about today is more or less false, which is our job. I feel good about it. Can you tell I couldn't find the scissors? Yeah, today was a rough day, you guys. It's been one of those weeks. Um, hopefully you guys are having a great weekend. Leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the show. Also, you can also always hit us up on social. Yeah. If you wanna hit us up, I'm at Jocelyn Davis, at Emil Ennis Jr. Did I'm, I get that right? I'm not a snack. Okay. I'm a okay. meal. Let us know if you guys ever have any rumors because as we know, you are the true sleuth of our society. I was like, the true what? Sleuth. <laughs> As first I thought you said, you're the true loose. I was like, uh, <laughs> wait a minute now. Uh, Guys, uh, we are gonna uh, go home and live our best lives. I'm going to Mexico, goodbye. You do the same, bye. But before you go, click right over here to see if Millie Bobby Brown furiously dumped Jacob Sartorius. Did she? Maybe. Click it, guys. Have you clicked it yet? Have you subscribed?